All right, welcome back to part two of my Grim Fandango remastered playthrough. Uh, last time we went to the poisoning and um, didn't get a good client. So now we're trying to get a lead on a good client. So I have to figure out what to do. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. jeez, uh, what now? I think. I think I remember vaguely how it worked. A dead worm. Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. Anyways. Hello? <laughs> Let's see what's going on in the boss's office. This is a different angle. Oh. Out. The drapes are drawn. Dom must be in there napping. It's locked. What is that sound? Is there something going on in there? The drapes are drawn. Dom must be in there napping. Shoot! I don't have a net or a desire to have a pet pigeon. Hey, if I go any farther, Don will see me and call the staff shrink to come and talk me down. All right. I guess that's a the flapping of a dead pigeon's wings. Okay. So I. I have a vague idea. I remember the year they built that. Mostly because it cost so much, we didn't get bonuses that year. Da ganos. A vague idea. So I've got this, um... Balloon here. Do I need another one? Anyways. So what I want to do... Has to do with this um, the tube system. That's not what balloons are for. The wheel won't turn and the door won't budge. That wheel should open it. Can't reach. Can't reach. I think that's the other end of Domino's message tube. If I could just get in there. So I want to mess up. Um, the, uh, it's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all communications here in the Department of Death. Tube system. Warning. Fire system. Do not touch. That's not on fire. That's not on fire. That's not on fire. <laughs> all right. So... My plan is to put something in the tube thing. And, all right, so I have various items that I could try. I feel like I need to fill up a balloon with this stuff. But do I need to fill up two is the question. The bread of the dead. This doesn't look anything like Robert Frost. It's a deflated balloon. So 
So, yeah, let me get another balloon just in case. Might as well, since I'm down here. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez, what now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. Do, 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 do. Got dead worms. That's not what balloons are for. Oh, sorry, my bad. I have to put the balloons in my pocket in order to open a door. Can't do two things at once. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. All right. So, let's, uh... Let's test this out. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Can I not talk to him? <laughs> I guess not. Really, it won't let me talk to him again. <laughs> hey, Hurl. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you sound pretty out of breath, so I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. Oh, that's right. Can I offer him uh, stuff? <laughs> Maybe he'd want to play cards. Deck of cards just wouldn't help there. Oh, never mind. Okay, let's see what's going on here. My message tube is full of nothing, as usual. Let's start with the bread. Look out below. It's still going. Okay. I don't think I can fit this in there. That's not on fire. Yeah. All right. It's balloon time then. see what's happening. Server's down again. What else is new? Manny, if you... Right. I do watch you. Act casual. <laughs> hey, man, the server's down. What's going on? Hey. The dead bull 
looks like it's not set. It's the wheel on the door. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. Ah, our cheerful communications maintenance staff is on the job. Hi, I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they're like that. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. So how long is it gonna be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Can I squeeze in there, just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit, summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. <laughs> Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Just curious, how'd you get in there? I squeezed out one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. Say, uh, chatty Kathy. I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. <laughs> this view. <laughs> Not again! Ah, 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 ah. You tried to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher! Spray that on this packing foam and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here! What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste! Well, well, well... Hey, I'm still not getting any messages. I'm giving you one right now, but you can't see my hand. I wonder if I need to grab some packing um, materials. Good enough for government work. <laughs> gotcha. Anyways, um, I wonder if I can grab some packing material and blow something up. Do do do. Can I pick no, that up? thanks. That stuff smells terrible, man. No thanks. That stuff smells terrible, man. Should I try it? I feel like this isn't a good idea. That's not on fire. That's not on fire. All right. <laughs> Never mind. Hey. Oh, that's okay. Oh no, I forgot to turn on the timer. <laughs> How long am I playing? Oh well. I will just, um... I'll do this and then... edit in another take, I guess. Alright, what do we got here? Red 
costume looks familiar. It's locked. Oh, I think I know what I need here. Uh, he pulled out a, a card thing. So maybe this is what I need. Hmm, too much air pressure. Okay. All right. Do we have anything else? Maybe we don't. Hmm. It's locked. As a rule, I never touch anything more sophisticated and delicate than myself. It's the sophisticated. Oh, I have an idea. Air pressure, A. Eh? Gotta act casual. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. This card's full of holes. <laughs> here we go, here we go. All right. This car's full of holes. This should work. Mercedes Colomar, client number 9308, blah, blah, blah. Died of chicken box, time of death, yada, yada, yada. Aha, positive attributes. Volunteer time, reading stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? <laughs> that was a company car. Oh yeah, and it's even better company now. I'm in. Dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Hmm. You know, I usually just like doing the top one. Is right there. The only implication here is that I'm fired. Is it something I did? Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. <laughs> Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. 
mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha! Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh huh. <laughs> Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calaveda, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now, if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry. I give up. Don't say that, Manny. You know what I have to do? I just have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble. But please, call me Manny. My message tube is full of nothing, as usual. She looks fine to me. I'm still on the case, Mitchie, but I haven't found anything for you yet. Maybe I'm not the woman you were hoping for. <laughs> Curious. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. All right. I'm gonna pause right here really quick so I can, uh... edit this. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so yeah, this is going to be a slightly longer episode than usual. Okay, so what's going on here? <sighs> My old door. Domino's door is locked. Wonder what's going on here. Hey, funny bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there, on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld, alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Well... Hmm. Hey! Is anybody out there? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Who's out there? I'm you, or rather... I was you, years ago. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost. <laughs> get me out of here. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. Yeah? Well, I got something they can stick in their fold. You have to try harder than that, Manuel. A man's loyalties decide his destiny. Hmm. Look, I did what I had to do. So what? You have to try harder than that, Manuel. A man's loyalties decide his destiny. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. <laughs> Well, 
know, but I am angry. I see. Well, keep up the faith. I don't see anyone out there. It looks like it dispenses something called Philodent. Ooh, ick. It came out like soft serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. If only I had another dead balloon. Or dead worm. Hey, guard! Has my little count of Monte Cristo? No, really. Who are you? I'm a fellow prisoner, my friend. Maybe, but your cell's a lot bigger than mine, jailmate. What are they gonna do to me? I don't want to alarm you, Agent Calavera, but have you ever seen a man sprout it? No, I don't go to those parties anymore. Then you don't know. There's nothing more horrible than the bite of the sprouter. Its deadly stinger spreads a green disease through every calcified pore on your body, leaving you veined with roots and flocked with grass, steadily growing thicker and thicker until you crash and bloom out in a horrifying bouquet of pain and fragrant suffering, screaming until your mouth fills with petals and your nostrils shoot out thorny stems and the bulbs sprout in your eyes, leaving you nothing but a patch of wildflowers on the ground swarming with butterflies. Are you done? Yes. No, I've never seen that. <laughs> Tell me that sprouting story again. It's not a bedtime story, Manuel. There's nothing more horrible than the bite of the sprouter. Its deadly stinger spreads a green disease through every <laughs> calcified pore on your body, leaving you veined with roots and flocked with grass, steadily growing thicker and thicker until you crash and bloom out in a horrifying bouquet of pain and fragrant suffering, screaming until your mouth fills with petals and your nostrils shoot out thorny stems and the bulbs sprout in your eyes, leaving you nothing but a patch of wildflowers on the ground swarming with butterflies. I love that story. I'm thinking about getting out and getting even. That's it. If you are still loyal, lay down and roll over and bark the company fight song. I know. My loyalty is still to the DOD, believe it or not. Mm, good boy. You just keep up that spirit and I'm sure you'll get out of here soon enough. Doesn't open. All right, maybe I should do the other thing. Hey, guard! Has my little count of Monte Cristo. Cramped, ready for walkies. How many times do I have to say I'm sorry? I do not care if you're sorry. I want to know if you are loyal. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. I've heard you make threats in anger before. My question is, would you really want to hurt the DOD? I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. <laughs> to do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a Reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone. Like babies, Manuel. Like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well. You won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. 
Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, my friend, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. Can I just leave? Where does this go? To a secret tunnel out of the city. But it opens for members of the LSA only. It won't budge. It opens for members of the LSA only. It's a slide projector. Manuel, I was looking at that. <laughs> this computer shut off. We salvaged that unit when the company threw it away. But we have yet to get it working. When we do, we'll need you to get us into the system. I'll be long gone before then. We'll see, Manuel. This computer shut off. I don't get it. Nor do I, Manuel. Not yet. I'd put on a hand shadow show, but the mood just doesn't feel right. Ooh, wait. The secretary's evil twin. Just me, honey. So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. <laughs> Any messages for me? Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! Eva, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Domino were both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador's right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, Manny. So, you won't help me out of here? Sorry. I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. Can I just walk out? Oh, I can. I think I'm allowed to go back in there, am I? I'm not going in there. They still think I'm locked up, hopefully. I should probably accept that offer. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. All right, well. Agent Calavera here. Let's accept the offer. Gotta figure out how to fix this computer. Salvador seems to be concentrating. Open that door, Sal. I got places to go. Does that mean you're ready to join us? Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes. My last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. 
their suite hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. But money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the eighth underworld. And for that, you need money. What do you want from me? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No. I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Viva la revolución! Have you thought about using messages tied to balloons? I can get you plenty of balloons. Pigeons, Manuel. Bring me their eggs. Pues, okay. Viva la revolución! All right, I gotta find some eggs. So I know there are a lot of pigeons on the roof. Although I might need some stuff. to take care of the pigeons. It's the loose end of the rope made of ties. It's pretty long, though. The drapes are drawn. Dom and Dom must still be in there. It's locked. Hmm. Dom's office is empty. Ah, uh -huh. there's nobody in Domino's office. Even the view out of his window is better than mine, somehow. He doesn't even hide his booze in a file cabinet. What kind of salesman is he? No messages in Dom's fancy red tube. He's got a lock on it. Can't believe he doesn't trust me. Desk drawers? I don't have desk drawers. What the? There's something glowing in there. It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. No messages in Dom's fancy red tube. He doesn't even hide his booze in a file cabinet. What kind of salesman is he? All right, let's take a better look at this thing. Congratulations, Domino, on your new job. Hector. Hector? Nothing else in there. I'm gonna try to guess his password. Nope. It's not Golden Boy. I'm gonna try... And it's not Mr. D either. <laughs> So much for Dami. I wonder how many attempts I get. Arrogant fraud doesn't work. Whew, I was scared it might be Eva. Well, he likes boxing too, but that ain't it. Yeah, I need the teeth. 
Not greed. I'm just gonna keep going and see how how many. Not vanity. Not sleaze. Ah, I give up. All right, that's probably it. All right, what do we got here? What a jock. What a jock. It's Domino's mouthpiece. Ugh, Domino had this in his mouth. It's Domino's mouthpiece. Why am I carrying this around? I can't go strolling through the halls now. I'm on the lam. All right. I think the mouthpiece is good because she needs the teeth. So let me see how the teeth goes. And then I'll figure out how to carry or get a, a pigeon. I think I need bread for that. the bread for now. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Jeez, uh, what now? Let's see uh, what these other... Okay, I can't. <laughs> no problem. Ta-da! It's a squeaky little key. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? A dingo? That's my specialty. Ta-da! It's just a regular old balloon dog. I don't see what's so dingo about it. All right, and my kid, uh, one wants more another balloon animal. Uh, geez, what now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Look, if I give you any more of those, you'd be able to go in the business for yourself. So forget it. Dang it. Guess not. I'll just take a little more bread to honor the dead. I get crumbs all over. Okay. Stocked up on those. Let's see. Agent Calavera here. What else we can, uh... We can find. <sighs> Why won't you help me out? I need your teeth, remember? What is this? It's Domino's mouthpiece. Why nice. am I carrying this around? I wonder if someone knows what this is about first. I can't even imagine a way to use coral there. I can't even imagine a way to use coral there. <laughs> After bread. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. Not right now. Okay. Oop, I just want to play cards. A deck of cards just wouldn't help there. Okay, okay. Show me the mouthpiece. What's that? Domino's mouthpiece. Think you can get a dental impression off of it? No, the plastic's so hard he didn't leave a mark. Dang it. What's that? Domino's mouthpiece. Think you can get a dental impression off of it? No, the plastic's so hard he didn't leave a mark. All right. Well, uh... have you thought about using messages tied to bullets? Viva la! 
Yeah, let's go into the garage. See if there's anything in there that could be useful. I'm not going upstairs. I want him to think I'm still locked in the shop. All right. What have we here? It's a tool cabinet. It's locked. It's locked. Hey, what did they do with Gladys? It looks like it dispenses something called Philodent. Ooh, ick. It came out like soft serve ice cream. But judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. You know what? Let's use the mouthpiece on that. Philodent. Good for dents, great for dentures. This mouthpiece is full of philodent. This mouthpiece is full of philodent. Then do I have to give it back? Maybe I do have to put it back. Or should I ask uh, Ava first? Agent Calavera here. Yeah, maybe let's ask her first. Look what I got here. This mouthpiece is full of philodent. Ooh, what is that? Custard? Try it. No thanks. I'm watching my figure. of that. <laughs> I have to figure out how to get a pigeon. Uh, not just a pigeon, a pigeon egg. I don't know if there's a nest up here. I don't know how to catch it anyways. I don't want to make an impression of that. Wow, that made a perfect impression of my teeth and left quite a chalky aftertaste too. Oh, I need my teeth. Oops. <laughs> I should have hit the other button earlier. Alright. Um, where do I find eggs? Does that have to do with this bread? That wouldn't be a very good use of this special. I get crumbs all over. I get crumbs all over. Well, we're doing this teeth thing first. Agent Calavera here. It's got a perfect plaster cast of my teeth in it. There you go. Manny, 
This looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. Did I mention it's been great working with you? Ditto, kid. All right, now I gotta figure out. Have you thought about using me? Bitch, wait. Leave a this computer shut off. Eggs, eggs. How do I get eggs? I feel like it's something to do with this bread, but how do I? I get crumbs all over. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. There are pigeons up there. I get crumbs all over. I get crumbs all over. I get crumbs all over. Hmm. I get crumbs all over. I get crumbs all over. That wouldn't be a very good use of this spe- I feel like it has to do with something up here. Or maybe I need to get into that ladder. Okay, I think I got an idea. So this um, coral thing looks like a grappling hook, right? It's the loose end of the rope made of ties. It's pretty long though. I can't even imagine a way to use coral there. I can't even imagine a way to use coral there. It doesn't do much but glow. Maybe that's wrong. What do I tie it to? Oh, no. Hey. I wonder if that's how Domino meant it to be used. I wonder if that's how Domino meant it to be used. All right. Well, let's try it. Feels good. Oh, I thought it would. <laughs> okay. Got some eggs there. the looks of those pigeons. Hey! All right, let's give them some bread. Get him off me! 
Alright, bread didn't work. Um. Maybe that will scare them. Eventually. Okay, okay. So I put that in there. Back off, birds! They're everywhere. Shoot! 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 Alright. So I'm gonna need more bread. Maybe I'll put the balloon in there. Cover it with bread. I gotta admit, some of this is uh, very vague memories, so... It's not, you know, me entirely I'll just take a little thing. more bread. I wonder if the shape of the balloon matters. does matter. Maybe I should have done Robert Frost. Nice. Yeah, beat it, you lousy little ledge pickers. Just a couple of crumbs and shreds of latex. I prefer to eat out of clean dishes that aren't nailed to the roof. <laughs> All right. So that's where the vermin come from. You must come with me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. These babies are going to war. I only eat them poached. How many do I need? Man, are more? those pigeons gonna be ticked. Okay. So this might be the end of the episode. Oh. <laughs> You'd have to be crazy to climb on that. Agent Calavera and two guests. That should be it. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you. Agent Calavera, you are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now, let me be of service to you. You must go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend. You want to find your lost soul. How do you know where she is? I don't, but everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament. That's a big subtitle. therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, 
You'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. That was some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. That Salvador really knows how to do this espionage thing with style. Well, I got 20 After all minutes. I did to get out of town, I am never going back to that place again. At least not without Mechi. <laughs> Blood is my friend. Why are you crying? Betty? Oh, Betty! They fired me! <laughs> Me too, buddy. You don't understand, Betty. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods to... <laughs> oh, no. Claudius, what have you done? Oh, Gladys. Oh, man. Well, that's unfortunate. I wonder how long he can live without a heart. Wake up, buddy. <laughs> I wonder how long he can live without a heart. This signpost seems to be pointing the way to Rubacaba. Too well anchored. It says bone wagon on the side. I can't drive that thing. All right, let's find this heart. Somewhere back here, eh? Oh no! Ooh, ick! Shoot! <laughs> These spiders have Gladys' heart in their web. Uh, it's stuck in there good. Fortunately, I've got... Hey, they took my balloons. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Piece of cake. Hi, Chihuahua. <laughs> Don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> uh, it's stuck in there good. Maybe I have to find something. That's not on fire. All right, let's it's look around here. It's an ugly pile of bones, like me. I guess I could always use a spare. Ooh, something has sucked the marrow out. Soup's on. Huh, they don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. Uh, it's stuck in there good. Get another bone just in case. Yeah, There's already a bone in there. Okay. What else can I find? Mm. <laughs> I wonder how long he can live with that heart. Mm. What's in this direction? Is laying there, he could be dying. Mm. <laughs> it says bone wagon on the side. I can't just leave Gladys laying uh, there. He could be 
dying. I guess I do need to find this a way to get that heart. Bone might be the first step. Let's try the uh this again. Give it to him. Heart! Heart is good. Be good to heart. Don't tear out heart. Heart is good. Strong, beating good heart. Hey, is that my car? <laughs> Mr. Lamont, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living. That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at That's Domino. Hector, huh? That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad, but not a Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Hector, no! <laughs> Marigolds. <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask! Alright. I think this is a good place to stop. Oh. 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 Sorry. Let me just do one thing really quick. Not right now. Hold on a second. Ah. This signpost seems to be pointing the way to Rubacava. Okay. Yeah, that's a good place to stop. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. I will be back with more Grim Fandango Remastered next week. Um... How much, how far am I? It takes a while to save, huh? Hey. Oh, cool. Almost a fourth? That's pretty nice. Um, yeah, don't know if I should plug anything else because I don't know what would be going on a um, month or so.
<laughs> but when it, when is this coming out? March, April? Ah, uh, it's whatever. Um, I should sign off here. I will catch you guys next week. Have a wonderful time. Have, uh, what, doing whatever you do. See ya.